Breaking news, LeBron James is taking his talents to the Western Conference. He's gonna join the Los Angeles Lakers. He's signing a four-year deal worth $154 million. And Looney takes a difficult shot that he can't hit. James lost it, gets it back. Live with the results. That's outstanding discipline defense. And James holding his left leg. And obviously his groin area as well. He's shaking up on that play. He may have gotten hurt on the previous play. I think they need to explore trading LeBron for getting as much as they can. The Eastern Conference was definitely more significantly weaker than the Western Conference. And the first year you go out to the West, you lose. You don't even make the playoffs. You go from going to eight straight NBA Finals to not making the playoffs. The second you go into a, a, a tougher conference, particularly considering the drama that has surrounded the Lakers, I don't see how you get around that if you're LeBron James. Now, my first pick in the second round, I'm going with Anthony Davis. You sure you want him to be your teammate? Uh, I, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm very sure of that. <laughs> is, 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 is it that tempering? No, no. <laughs> this is the biggest one of all. The Pelicans have agreed to finally trade Anthony Davis to the Lakers. Now, here's the compensation package. Everybody's wondering, mm -hmm. what would they give up? Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram. Remember, Ingram has the blood clots in his arm, yep. so that's an issue. Josh Hart and three first-round picks including the number four overall pick in the 2019 draft. LeBron and AD, why, y'all, why? Both at least 6'9". LeBron is 260. Locomotive coming in your direction. But he's got something to prove because for the first time in nine years, he got a break from April. He didn't play in the June. AD, 6'11", can play five to four different positions, can defend four different positions. One of the top five players on the planet, two of the top five players in the world. Great insight right there. Unfortunately, LeBron not able to get the win as he passes Kobe. Just a little quick tidbit. So when he passed MJ last season, they lost by 16. Tonight, he passes Kobe. They lose by 17. So a little bit bittersweet right here as LeBron continues to make history. That's a pretty cool thing. So uh, I rolled up my shoes tonight. I think I put uh, I think I put Mamba uh, for life, 824 uh, KB because uh, it's really it's really that it's really that mutual. So. Um, yeah. Now, of course, I mean, this is an appreciation moment for LeBron James, obviously making history right now. You see the career numbers. It was just last night that LeBron James passed him for third all time on the career scoring list. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, that was his last tweet was congratulating LeBron James on passing him for number three. Just happened last night. Listening to the stories that he said, giving you the insight on his relationship with Kobe. A lot of people don't know that that story right there about him going to visit Kobe and getting those sneakers. So that's great right there. But what's your takeaway from this whole LeBron making history tonight? Kobe, it's a different story. Kobe was someone that reached out to him when he was in high school, gave LeBron a pair of his sneakers back in 2002 at NBA All-Star Weekend in Philadelphia. LeBron wore those sneakers the first time he played Carmelo Anthony in high school. That same weekend, Kobe Bryant went on to win All-Star Game MVP in Philly. So LeBron said it was just so surreal to have this moment come full circle 18 years later in the same city. Now I'm wearing the same jersey that Kobe wore for his entirety of his career. The Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. He was 17 years old when he was drafted by the NBA. And even in his first year as a Laker, he was a star, showing this kind of self-confidence that you rarely saw in any young player. But I was like, wow, a 17 or 18 year old kid being able to make that leap, that's, that's pretty damn cool. I went to ABCD camp 
and he came and talked to all the all the all the kids that was there, and I happened to be one of the one of the kids that was there. You know, and I remember one thing that he said. He was like, if you want to try to be, you know, great at it, or want to be one of the greats, you got to put the work in. You know, there's no substitution to work. And I, and I was a 15 year old kid at that camp. You can actually find the footage of him. And then 2001. And he gave me a pair of his shoes, which I ended up wearing um, that following night. It was the red, white, and blue Kobe's. I was a 15, and he was a 14, and I wore them anyways. Um, and I sat and just talked to him for a little bit. He gave me the shoes. I rocked them in the game. Um, and it was the same night that we played uh, Oak Hill against Mello. And then I saw what he was able to do the very next night, winning MVP here um, in Philly. That, 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 that same, uh, that following night. The story is just too much. It doesn't make sense. Um, and just to make a long story short, now I'm here in the Lakers uniform in Philadelphia, where he's from, where I wanted the first, first time I ever met him, gave me his shoes, he won All-Star Week. It's just, it's surreal. It doesn't make no sense, but the, the universe uh, just puts things in, in your life and, and, and when you, I guess when you live in the right way or you just giving everything to whatever you're doing, um, things happen organically and it's not supposed to make sense but it just happens. We're going to roll the tape and marvel at some of his talents. Welcome to the Kobe Show, take two. Time has wings. You know, even when you realize that you need to appreciate the time, it still goes by fast. You know, there is never anything quite like the first NBA championship. You don't want that to go away. You want it again. Five Five of them. I'd always known that this window was going to come. I hope people appreciate what we've seen from Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bean, salute my brother. When the end comes, I'm fine with that. Then you take on that challenge, right? Kobe Bryant leaving the floor in a standing ovation here. Kobe, there. Well, today is the saddest day in my basketball career. There's no doubt about it. All units responding to the brush fire at Las Virginis and Willow. We're 125 reporting, one anchor, one copter down. the air with that stunning news that basketball legend Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and seven others have been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. The chopper went down in Calabasas, California, northwest of Los Angeles, and burst into flames on impact. Uh, just shocked. This is one of the iconic figures, uh, not just in the history of the NBA, but in uh, modern professional sports and, and culture. I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody uh, who knew him, know him a long time. These are the moments when you ask why. As Kobe represented the sport that we all love so much, like very few others have. Players across the country today learning of the tragic news as it broke mid-game. As I say, he bought joy to so many young kids <laughs> that uh, that had the same admiration and same desire to do something unique. And there is LeBron less than 12 hours after he passed Kobe Bryant for third on the NBA's all-time scoring list in his second season with the Lakers before he gets back to LA one of his mentors passes away in a plane excuse me in a helicopter crash just hours before the fatal crash on Instagram Bryant paid tribute to LeBron James who surpassed him overnight as the third highest scorer in NBA history and when they're gone that's all that you have are the memories 
that you make that you made while they were here. You got a chance to really know Kobe. Ain't nobody better, man. It's what you want in sports. Uh, yeah, that that DNA that uh, that very few athletes can ever have. You know, the the Tiger Woods and the Michael Jordans. We are here to celebrate greatness for 20 years. You know, sometimes things don't make sense. So in the words of Kobe Bryant, Mamba out, but in the words of us, not forgotten. Live on, brother. It's very difficult, but at the same time, the mindset is, what would Kobe Bryant do? LeBron will never win a title as a Laker. Is he on the downside of his career? Mm. Have we seen the best LeBron James will ever be, or can he maintain the level that he's played at for such a long time? Scotty Pippen said LeBron James is no longer capable of carrying a team. Because nobody will expect him to win the West. And I assume this is going to be where he wants to drop anchor in roots and segue into his second career in Hollywood. This astounding and unprecedented story continues to evolve. Uh, at halftime with Adrian Wojnarowski, I suggested that uh, we would speak to him soon. I had no idea that it would be this soon. He has just tweeted within the past two minutes that the NBA is suspending the season. I say that. Actually, we're not going into the bubble. The NBA is going into the bubble in Orlando, Florida. I'm. Yeah, if if the Portland Trail Blazers win tonight, they're going to sweep the Lakers. Job's not finished. Job finished? No, I don't think so. In an NBA season unlike any other, only two teams remain. The Los Angeles Lakers and the Miami Heat have spent 85 straight days on the campus in Orlando, all with one goal in mind, winning an NBA championship. He's the greatest player of his generation, and perhaps the conversation continues about the greatest ever. This would certainly cement his legacy. Our guys have been incredibly locked in. You know, even though we have you know, two superstars, we have to become a team first team. Oh, well, the Miami Heat, they were not supposed to be here. They were the fifth seed. They come down to the bubble and they knock off all three teams, only lose three games in the process. The 2020 NBA Finals are here. How about this crowd? In game one of the NBA Finals, there are 17 NBA champions in the virtual fan spots here tonight. We're here, baby. Do what we do, man. Come on, do what we do. Energy, 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 white. Wing, 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 wing. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. One thing about this Heat team, they're not afraid, and it gives them a chance against anybody. Iguodala to Robinson off the screen. Deep corner, far side, bang from downtown. Crowder again. Defensively, let's get after these guys a little bit more than we're doing right now. We're on our heels, waiting for the action to happen. Yeah, everybody pressures right here next time they have the ball. James with the steal, throws it up. Davis back up, and this time able to finish. Well, the Lakers starting to heat up. Talk, Black, talk. John Rondo from downtown. The Lakers can't miss from three, and they have their first double-digit lead in the game. Danny Green hits another three-pointer. 11 threes already for the LA Lakers. Look, I need a couple great shots. If we get great shots, we win this game. 
Lakers by 24, Lakers by 26. Anthony Davis has 24, and Eric Spolster needs another timeout. There we go. Not a, a single thing is going right for Miami. Goran Dragic injured his left, left foot. foot. Yeah. Jimmy Butler's got a sprained left ankle. Bam has got a bad left shoulder. Rondo dribbles into the paint. Bounce pass to a cutting LeBron who dunks. Wow, what a dunk. The Los Angeles Lakers take game one of these NBA Finals. A dominant victory led by their two stars. I felt good. Uh, first NBA Finals game. Obviously, the nerves was there. Just the moment I waited for in my entire career. And now I'm here, so you know, maximize the opportunity because it doesn't come around too often. All good. We ain't satisfied. We got a dub. We got to keep pushing. This is a seven-game series. This is one game. You cannot overreact. We have 48 hours to figure out what the next plan of attack will be. We're much better than we showed tonight. You do have to credit the Lakers, and we'll get to work. We knew how hard we had to play if we wanted to try to make it a game. We got so much more work to do. <clears throat> the job is not done, and we're not satisfied. We're winning one game. I'm really, really excited to see how we bounce back. The Lakers are going to be wearing their snakeskin print, black Bamba uniforms. <laughs> Anthony Davis said that when they put those uniforms on, they feel like they can't lose. We shine brightest when they doubt us. Let's yep. go get it. Let's go get it. Caldwell <laughs> Pope dives on the floor and saves it. James drives, pass inside, Howard again, and the foul. That's where they're absolutely devastating in transition. That's what we're talking about, right? That's what wins for us, okay? First to the floor. LeBron dumps it into AD who dunks it. What a nice pass by LeBron. And the great start by the Lakers. Behind you, behind you. Go, 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 go. Butler baseline to Crowder. Crowder hard off the glass. Miami is playing exponentially better this game than they did in game one. Butler kicks it out. None wide open. None gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Heat down by four with five minutes remaining here in this first half. Heat hanging tough here in game two. I need big shots, guys. I need big shots. Great energy. I need a break. Yeah. Okay? We need stops. It's a fast break. Rondo's got it. He brings it quickly into the front court. Alley to AD. Oh, what a pass. Davis lays it up and in. AD and another basket. He's seven for seven in the third quarter. 15 of his 30 coming here in the third. Keep killing it. Keep killing the glass. ACP shoots a contested two. No good. Oh, Anthony Davis does it again. What a dazzling display of shot making. This guy is just putting on a show. The Miami Heat have no way of containing Anthony Davis. Udonis Haslam, the 40-year-old in his 17th year, he of three Miami Heat rings. Took over the huddle with the intensity that we've oh. come to know from Udonis. Olenek now off the dribble, goes right at LeBron James, draws the foul and puts it in. Miami Heat, without Dragic, without Adebayo, have made it interesting. James comes up, down to Davis, oh, what a block by Nunn! Kendrick Nunn rejects Anthony Davis! Eric Sposter's got to love the fight in his team. Keep driving it! Keep driving it! LeBron to the rim, throws it up, no good. Rebound, Anthony Davis puts it up, no good, tipped in by LeBron. Rondo inside to James, James scoops it up and in. 33 for LeBron James. The Miami Heat gave him a test, but the Los Angeles Lakers going to take a two games to none lead in the 2020 Finals. You're wearing a very special jersey tonight, the Black Mambas. You guys are undefeated in those unis. Well, it's always special to be able to represent someone that meant so much. Um, this is what it's all about. We're thinking about uh, the Bryant family, and hopefully we make them proud. We're never giving up. 
it's not over. You know, we're, um, we're just down on two. We got to do something special. We're capable of it. You know, um, I wouldn't want to be in the trenches with any other guys. Except for it's game three of the NBA Finals and another test for the Miami Heat to prove their resilience. An incredible opportunity in front of us. Our guys are very mentally tough. They love competition. Four teams in NBA history have come back from 0-2 down to win in NBA Finals. So 0-2 is possible. You are incredibly optimistic for someone who is down 2-0. We get one tonight, we might be up to something. Okay. Okay. Versus your Miami Heat. And Eric Spolstra and his coaching staff trying to keep this team fired up. Jimmy Butler drives, kicks it inside, Leonard flips it up and in. Good pass, JB. Now the Lakers are a little sloppy early. The seal down the other end. They throw it ahead to Butler, and Butler throws it down. And Frank Vogel calls timeout. The Heat playing some terrific, inspired basketball here to open up game three. Get stops and then get out and flop. Eight and a half to go, second quarter. Rondo, alley oop, AD. Catches it in reverse, dunks it at the rim. That's tough, we'll live. That's okay. Butler down the right wing, Jimmy Butler. Butler stops, puts the jump shot up, got it to go. Butler now with 15. Butler's got Caruso on him. Goes right at him, and bangs it home. Yeah, JB! Boy, Jimmy Butler has been sensational here in the first half. Miami Heat trying to pull off one of the more surprising results in a finals game in a long time. Crowder throws it ahead to Tyler Hero. Reverse layup. Hey! He's a bucket! And the Miami Heat with a 14-point lead. This is the largest lead they've had so far in these finals. Max play. We good. We good. Change the energy out there. Davis guarded by Agadala. Olenek looking to help. Makes him take a tough four-way shot. It goes. James backs in and just completely pulls his way to the rim. Right there. Laker basketball. Stops deflections. No fouls. And break. Lakers with another opportunity to take the lead. Rondo down the middle. Rondo all the way. Left hand layup by Rondo. It's good. And the Lakers take the lead. This is anybody's game. Who is going to execute down the stretch here at crunch time? Jimmy Butler here in game three, trying to get Miami in the win column, down 0-2. Pass inside to Olenek, oh, what a feed from Butler. Now it's Butler driving, Butler hanging, Butler hitting a 40-point game three. Triple-double for Jimmy Butler. What an inspiring victory for the Miami Heat. I don't care about a triple. I don't care about none of that. I really don't. I want to win. We did that. I think we realized that we belong. He is an elite, top percentile competitor, and this is top percentile competition that we're facing. One of the best competitors that we have in our game. To be able to focus a fierce competitor like that is something I'll look back on when I'm done playing. I tell coach all the time, I'm ready for this. Like, the biggest stage, whatever you ask me to do, I can do it. Game four is so crucial. Miami has some momentum. Bam is coming back. Eric Spolster said it. He doesn't give a blank what people think about their chances. They're going to come out here and be relentless. Yeah. 2-1, must win, let's get it. If you're the Lakers, you want that 3-1 lead. That puts them hugely in the driver's seat. You're just looking at a pivotal game in the series that could make or break either team. Go, brother, play without foul. Bam out of bio, ready to try to give it a go tonight. What difference is that going to make for you guys? A major difference, you know, he's our heart and soul. He changed up the dynamic of things. We're excited to have him back tonight. Tyler Hero grabbed it. Back come the heat the other way. Out of bio, down the middle, lays it up and in. 
So Bam gets on the board right out of the gate, 30 seconds in. Keep chasing these guys, keep pursuing, keep playing the game without foul. Come on, five, one, three, one, two, three. Every loose ball. Back out, Robinson stolen by James. LeBron one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Hero. James drives, goes inside and throws it down. Okay, we're finally getting our hands on the ball. Yeah, no let up. Don't let them answer run here. Can we keep building on this? And here goes LeBron right through everybody Ooh. and dunks it. It's 35, you said? LeBron went through four guys. Wow. Great motor, great motor, great motor. Trust each other, guys. Okay? Come on, move. You are going to have to fight. Feels like AD is everywhere on the defensive end. Absolutely everywhere. Now this one has been a grind it out defensive battle. Man, Ohio skies for the rebound, but stolen by Rondo. Feet inside to Danny Green. This kind of game, you can just feel the tension when you're playing because every possession is so important. Yep. Run it. Run it. Nice ball movement here. Tyler Hero floats it up and throws it in over the outstretched fingertips of Anthony Davis. This is a trust game for us, too. So you got it downhill, you do what you do. Come on, get a stop, get a stop! 6.30 left to go in this game. Jimmy Butler allowed to go to the rim. Butler off the glass, and Miami ties it up at 83. 20 in the game for Jimmy Butler. He's the leading scorer in the game for either team. LeBron and AD both have 19. There's LeBron dribbling at the top. He splits the defense down the middle, got to the rim, lays it up, in and a foul. LeBron hit the deck hard. This has been the most hotly contested finals game of the four. Drive to the rim, lays it up, and in! Caldwell Pope with five huge points for the Lakers. Under a minute remaining, Lakers by six. Davis for three. back after that disappointing loss in game three and are back in control of these NBA Finals. Unbelievable. Incredible, brother. The job is not done. We understand what's at stake. I'm going to continue to get the work in. I'm going to continue to not sleep until the job is done. So look forward to the next match. Ron said that he texted the guys about how this was a must win tonight. Our leader said it's a must win, and he just left it at that. And guys knew coming in that you know, we need to bring our A game. Our backs are against the wall. It's not like it's never been done before. But we still got hope. We still gonna fight to the end. You can look to our roster of a bunch of guys that have a big time mountain sized chip on their shoulders. But they found a way, each and every one of them, to take that chip and put it into the team. That's a big part of our culture. That, that's the thing about this team and, and our staff, they challenge us. You know, you get good at one thing, they give you something else. Everything you do gotta be about winning, and I love it. Like, I, you can tell I'm smiling underneath this mask because it's real. That's basically what this culture is. The Miami Heat are on the brink of elimination. And despite the odds stacked against them, the Heat still believe in themselves. And a team as resilient and mentally tough as this will not go quietly. Keep being you, brother. Let's go. Here come the Lakers, four on three. LeBron down the middle. LeBron all the way. Alley-oop to AD, who tomahawks it. Good transition. The hero right back to Butler. Oh. Butler defended well, but overcomes Marquis Morris. This is Andre Iguodala to Bam. Great feed to none down the lane, lays it in. And if you're the Lakers, this is what you expected from the Heat. They were going to concede nothing. Hey, it's an elimination game. We expect our first punch, right? We expect that. That's part of this, man. It's part of this. We, we take it, we absorb it, and we take the game back under control. James, oh. way downtown. LeBron James, long distance. LeBron James, what a show he's putting on. Crowder for three. Crowder misses. Rebound and getting a 
minute to go, Jimmy Butler. Butler and James going toe to toe. Tight back and forth battle. Duncan Robinson again. That's good, and the foul. How about Duncan Robinson? 26.7 three pointers. What a game we have for you here. Lakers trying to win the title, Heat trying to stay alive. We're right there, guys, right there. Come on. It's not supposed to be easy. Here we go. Mama on three. One, two, three. Five to shoot. James Caldwell Pope. Pucks it in. Hey! And the Lakers regain the lead. What an epic duel. Butler at the elbow, the jump shot. Got it to go, Butler. Jimmy Butler does it again. James drives, free throw line, gets deep, gets it up, it's good, and he's fouled. With LeBron now has 40. James and Butler throwing haymakers at each other. Jimmy Butler with a triple-double, 27 points, 11 rebounds, and assists. The Teague is real right now. What drama here at the end of game five. Butler one-on-one -on -one with Marquis Morris. Butler drives, falling away. The Heat take every punch and refuse to surrender. There'll be a game six. Jimmy, he's just the ultimate competitor. So when you put him on this stage, he'll just do whatever it takes to win. He took us home tonight, absolutely. We built for this. We've been doing this all year long. This didn't just start in the bubble. It was a hard fall game. I think it's going to be even harder for us next game. You think in terms of why Howard came out and why Caruso the one to be chosen to start? Well, I don't think, well, I know Dwight Howard didn't play well in the last ball game. Get our best player involved in as many plays as possible, LeBron James. Good defense there from Davis. Forces the turnover, and James with the flush down the Show. other end. Here in the first half, 13 points on 6 of 6 from the field. Crowder. And rattles that one in. And boy, did the Miami Heat need that three-pointer. Davis floats it up and in. Crowder on the drive. Crowder on the finish. Back-to-back -back buckets from Dre Crowder. As we approach the midway point of the third, Danny Green high off the glass, bounces around and drops through. Danny Green, eight seconds. Here in this NBA season, the respect from those two, and that's it, it's over. This historic 2020 NBA championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers conquer the bubble, and banner number 17 will soon hang in the rafters. The Larry O'Brien Trophy will be presented to the 2020 NBA Finals champion Lakers. A celebration just underway. He's won now with the Miami Heat, with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and the Los Angeles Lakers. As has his teammate Danny Green, also his third championship with three different teams. And Rajon Rondo winning his second NBA title. The Celtics in 08, the Lakers in 2020. I'll let you guys talk about it. Um, one thing I can do is uh, commit to the game. Um, I put myself and my body and my mind in position to be available to my teammates. Um, I've never missed a playoff game in my career. And uh, the best thing you can do for your teammates is be available. And uh, for me to be available to my teammates and put in the work, um, I just hope I make my guys proud. And, and that's all that matter to me. I make my guys proud, make the fan base proud, my family back home. I can't wait to get back home to them. Akron, Ohio, we did it again. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, ever since the trage tragedy, you know, all we wanted to do was is do it for him. And we didn't let him down. Um, it would have been great to do it, you know, last game in his jerseys. But, you know, it made us come out even more aggressive even more powerful on both ends of the floor to make sure we close it out tonight. 
and I know he's looking down on us, proud of us. Um, I know, you know, Vanessa's proud of us. The organization's proud of us. Um, you know, it, it means a lot to us. It's a tough moment, man. Uh -oh. What's that? <laughs> what you want from me? Yeah? What do you got? Say you like that. He was a, he was I like a, that. that. I like that. He 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 was a, uh, he was a big brother to all of us, and you know, we, we we did this for him.